Hey, what's up guys? This is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In this video, we're gonna be looking at hiding and unhiding elements, especially when it comes to the mobile editor on Wix. So here we are, we're on my architect site, which I've worked on a couple times here uh, as a sample site on Wix. And if I go to the mobile friendly version of this site, there's already automatically, potentially, some items hidden depending on what your site layout is. And there may be elements you want to hide yourself. For instance, I don't really like how this uh, house icon ended up being right there at the top. I actually could do without it on the mobile view. So over here on the left side in our toolbar, we see hidden elements. It's this little eyeball with a slash through it. If we click on that, we're gonna see what elements are hidden. That's how to find out what elements are already hidden. But if we hide something, for instance, this house right here, if I click on it, I can either click this eyeball icon or I can right click on it and click hide. That's going to hide it from my mobile view, but not from my desktop view. And you can see over here, it actually already popped this out open for us. It says hidden elements, there's one, it's this vector art piece. And you can show that element again just by clicking on this. Now that really helped clean up my header for the mobile view, but if I go back to the desktop view, I still have that sort of logo piece in there. So anytime you're hiding unhiding elements or have hidden elements just based on the layout, you're gonna find them over here in the hidden elements section. That also includes things like third party apps. So if they aren't already mobile friendly, they might be hidden and you might find them here in your hidden elements. If you wanna show them on your mobile page anyway, you can unhide them just like we can unhide any other element here over in the hidden elements section. Now let's say we wanna hide an actual page section from our site. So here in the mobile editor, in the upper right, we see a little zoom out and reorder icon. If we click this button, it's gonna zoom way out on our site and let us actually see the sections. Notice everything highlighted in blue. And then we find another section here, another section down here. Let's say I don't want this sort of divider image section. What I can actually do is click on it and come over here to hide section. That's gonna hide this section on my mobile side, but not on my desktop view. So remember, anything that we're hiding here in the mobile editor is gonna be hid on the mobile side, but not the desktop side. Same thing goes for pages. So if we have a certain set of pages here, in this pages dropdown, we have home, portfolio, the, these projects are pages within our site, but we also have about, news, and contact. Those are kind of the five major sections of our site, and there may be a reason why you don't want a certain page on the mobile version. So sometimes when you zoom in and zoom out like that, you may lose some of your menus. What you can do is just switch to the desktop mode and switch back to mobile, and your menus are gonna pop back up again. And all we need to do is go into menus and pages, Let's say we go to the news section, we don't want that. Click on the little ellipses and we can hide that page on mobile. So now that page is actually completely hidden on the mobile view. And we can navigate back to the home screen just by clicking on the page dropdown and going back to the home screen. So that page, the news section, isn't gonna show up. Now one thing you wanna make sure of is that if you have any buttons that lead you to that page, you also wanna hide those buttons on the mobile version of your website. But let's say we wanna do it in the other way. Let's say there's a page we want to show on our mobile side and we want to hide on our desktop side. So let's go back to the desktop. We've got pages in here, right? Home, portfolio, about, news, contact, the same ones we had before. Those are all showing up on our desktop side. If I click on my menus and pages and go to any one of these, Let's say I want the portfolio to show up on mobile, or I, maybe I have a specific mobile portfolio, right, that I wanna show. I don't want it to show on desktop. I can do the same thing by just clicking on the ellipses and going down to hide. Now at first, when we go back to the mobile view, that's gonna show up as hidden on every view of our website, but if we go into menus and pages, go back to that portfolio and click the ellipses, we can actually click show on mobile. So in the same way that we can hide something on mobile and show it on desktop, we can hide something on desktop and show it on mobile when it comes to pages. The last thing I'm gonna talk about, which we've covered, is when you look at the hidden elements, you'll find all those elements 
on your mobile website that are hidden, but sometimes things are hidden and you can't figure out why. They may not actually be hidden elements, they might be sort of hidden on your page itself. So a couple things to look out for. Look out for elements that are grouped together and then hidden as a group. Maybe there's an element you did not mean to be inside that hidden group that you want to show on your page, so, so look out for that. Also, look through some of the elements on your page. There may be elements that are in front of or behind background elements or headers or moved around. For instance, you can use the page layout optimizer to sort of help move some of those elements back into place by refreshing that. But there may be things that are hidden behind other objects that happened while you were editing your site. So make sure you look for that as well. And the last thing is make sure that your menu isn't hidden here because if you do not have a header or a footer on your desktop side, your mobile menu is going to be hidden. So you got to have that header or footer on your desktop side to make sure you can have that menu system here on the mobile side. That's it for this tutorial. I know we covered a lot. It was just hiding and unhiding elements, but it was still a lot altogether. So if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments down below. Thanks for watching this video. Like it if you liked it and subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Oh, <laughs>